because it's closing down, the crime rate going up, mm -hmm. it's sad. The days of being able to order a double-double in Oakland are over. The town's only in and out location is closing its doors for good tonight. The chain's corporate office says near constant car break-ins, property damage, and armed robberies along Oakland's Hagenberger Corridor created an unsafe environment for customers and employees. And so, for the first time in the company's 75-year history, in and out is shutting down a location. Today, we heard from one former employee who told us this feels like another big loss for Oakland. It's a great place here. I mean, especially when I was here, the Warriors were still here, the Raiders were still here. Everybody would come here after those games, and uh, it's just sad that it's closing down. But got to move on, you know. That's what we can do. Well, in a statement, in and outs COO says, quote, we are grateful for the community which has supported us for over 18 years. And we recognize that this closure negatively impacts our associates and their families. This location remains a busy and profitable one for the company, but our top priority must be safety. And this may be in and outs first closure, but it is not the first business to abandon Oakland's Hegenberger Corridor. Denny's closed its location there back in February. And just recently, the Taco Bell restaurants announced that they would be no longer opening up their dining room to customers. All right, guys, so we got to talk about a story that literally nobody should be surprised about because these liberal cities are out of control. I feel like I talk about this every day. I actually do talk about it every single day because I think one of the biggest problems with this country is that cities that used to be great are no longer great, okay? They're not great anymore, okay? They have become crime-ridden hellholes ran by Democrats. In fact, there are a few cities in this country that I just would not go to it doesn't matter what the reason is, okay? One of them is Memphis, Tennessee. I definitely would never go to that city. I don't care what the occasion is or what I have to do there. I don't know what I would have to do there. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what reason I would have to go to that city. I would never, never <laughs> step foot in that city. There's absolutely no reason for me to go there. And another city is Oakland, another city that, again, I would never, ever, ever, ever go to. I don't see a reason for me to go to unless, unless I'm going in some type of journalistic capacity. But even then, you need to make sure that you're wearing your bulletproof vest, right? You need to make sure that you are prepared for the possibility that you could get mugged and robbed at gunpoint, okay? Because that tends to be what happens quite a bit in that area. I mean, I've done... Uh, stories about CNN while they're covering the news, uh, straight up witnessing a robbery right in front of their face or, you know, thieves stealing out of a store or even a CNN news crew getting robbed. OK, getting robbed while covering the crime in Oakland and San Francisco. And in this story, we got to talk about a conservative commentator, Mr. Benny Johnson, getting robbed at in Oakland in an out burger while shooting segment about it closing due to robberies. Now we have covered this story in depth about uh, Oakland's in and out closing. In fact, we've covered a ton of stories about restaurants in Oakland closing businesses closing because they can't operate due to crime. Now the in and out closing is a big, big, big deal because in and outs never close. Okay. I mean, they're a very, very, very profitable business. They're very well run. Okay. They ran like a well oiled machine. Okay, so when you see a in and out closing due to crime and not profitability, that tells you how bad the situation is, right? That they have to close due to safety reasons to protect their employees. This is one of the rare cases where you see a corporation actually putting people over profit, right? I mean, that's what they're doing. They should be applauded for this. But yeah, like I said, uh, Benny Johnson, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are familiar with his content. Um, I think he's an interesting guy. Um, apparently he got robbed while trying to film and do some journalism on in and out Burger closing in Oakland. Again, that is the only legitimate reason I could see a conservative going to Oakland is to do some type of journalistic work. Outside of that, there's absolutely no reason to go, okay, unless you want to win a Darn Award. So without further ado, let's read this. On Wednesday, conservative filmmaker Benny Johnson and his crew were robbed in the Bay Area while filming a piece about California's rise in crime, which has forced businesses to close permanently. 
Johnson and his team were filming a video about In-N-Out Burger, one of America's most famous burger joints, permanently closing its location in Oakland due to more than 1,000 documented reports of customers being robbed while visiting the restaurant. Ironically enough, Johnson and his team were reportedly robbed while filming the video. All right, so let's actually watch this. In-N-Out Burger is a beloved fast food franchise. They are wildly popular and expanding everywhere, except for in one location. Welcome to the only In-N-Out Burger that has ever closed. This is a historic location. You can see the iconic building, but there's a fence around it. The signs have been ripped down, and the windows are all boarded up. Why did this In-N-Out Burger close? Well, because people were getting robbed in the drive through lane. 1,000 different criminal incidents of people being robbed while trying to get a burger in the drive through lane here. In-N-Out? Yeah, In-N-Out got the out of here. The reason that California has descended into a third world criminal hellhole is because of Democrat soft on crime policies that defund the police and that view the criminals as the victim and not the tax paying citizen. Speaking of being a victim, we were literally robbed while we were filming this video. In the middle of the afternoon, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. Sorry, smashed. Man, it's time to get the hell out of Oakland, California. Yeah. So again, that's pretty crazy, right? It's pretty crazy how the crime is so prevalent that just, you know, some random conservative commentator comes to do some journalism and they're robbed, right? If you step into that city, there's a good chance you're going to get robbed. That's insane. It's absolutely insane. Like, I don't understand how anybody can live like that. Like, how can you live under the fear of constantly getting robbed? Especially, again, in a state that goes out of their way to try to infringe on your Second Amendment rights. It doesn't make sense. Um... You know, I, I'm starting to feel bad for the people there. But, hey, this is kind of what they voted for. They voted for these salt on crime policies. And what you have is criminals. They're emboldened to do whatever they want to do to rob whoever they want to rob because they know at the end of the day, there's not going to be any real consequences. I mean, they've made it profitable to live a life of crime. OK, that's what they've done. They made it profitable to become a career criminal. OK, that's a career path now. OK, being a criminal in California. Right. They, they made that a legitimate career. So, yeah, as you can see here, uh, dude got robbed. Um, and I hope that this is legit in the sense that I hope that they're not just making this up. OK, that this is not something they staged on themselves for, you know, clicks and likes. I hope not. But, um, you know, I mean, I, I don't think so. I don't understand why you would rack up that type of expense just for clicks and likes. So if this is real, if this is legit. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. Right. It's pretty crazy to think about just stepping into Oakland just for a couple hours and just getting robbed insane johnson's producer alx was in the car at the time of the robbery quote i was in the car when it happened he said the rest of the team was probably about 20 feet away a car pulled up someone jumped out smashed the window and tried to take a bag i had to rip it from his hands and told him to f off oakland is a third world country yeah that's pretty crazy that's wild that's pretty wild and then again that could have been a very dangerous situation because you know that guy trying to take the bag could have been armed and this guy could have been shot as a result of trying to stop the guy from taking the bag so you know i it's one of those things where again i'm not sure if it's worth it going to oakland at this point because you have stuff like this happening right this is absolutely insane uh the incident occurred around 2 p.m near the recently shuttered burger joint in oakland according to johnson who uploaded a video about the robbery on x the video shows a vehicle with busted out windows and a police officer arriving at the scene. Johnson did not reveal what had been stolen out of the car. Quote, the reason California has descended into a third world hellhole is because of Democrat assault on crime policies that defund the police and view the criminals as the victim and not the taxpaying citizen, said Johnson. Speaking of being a victim, we are literally robbed while filming this video. He explained. Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. Look at it. Look at it. Look at her. This happened in Oakland. Damn, look at her. Damn. So this is how they do it. Damn. It's an official Damn. operation. Damn, they don't know what they doing. They don't know what they doing. So again, right outside of that in and out Again, it's not even safe to park your car. You can't even park your car and get a burger without worrying about this. Look at it. Look at it. I mean, this is... Look at it. Look at her. Boom. Damn, look at her. Easy. Damn. Open up the trunk. They know where the button's at and everything. 
Damn, they don't know what they doing. They don't know what they wow. doing. Wow. Now, again, a person like that in a sane society, in a sane society, caught on video, all that. If they get caught and they get found guilty in the court of law, five years. Five years at minimum. Minimum. Five years. Minimum. Hard time. That'll put a stop to it. But see, the problem is people like that will get caught on video doing crazy stuff like that. And they'll get a slap on the wrist, right? They'll get let out on bail. When if you start, you know, giving these people the maximum sentences, you start giving them 5, 10, 15 years for doing something like that, it'll stop. It'll come to an end real fast and hurry because nobody wants to do 10 years in the pen <laughs> over, you know, trying to, you know, rob somebody's vehicle. I'm just saying, I mean, I mean, you know, the incentive here is to rob people, take things out of their car and then sell it. I mean, again, they, they've made it profitable to be a career criminal. And that's the problem. in and out Burger, most famous for its minimalist burger menu and animal style fries, announced in January that it will be permanently closing its Oakland location on March 24th, citing ongoing issues with crime. We have made a decision to close our in and out Burger location in Oakland, California due to ongoing issues with crime. Despite taking repeated steps to create safer conditions, our customers and associates are regularly victimized by car break-ins, property damage, theft, and armed robberies, said Denny Warnick, chief operating officer of the company in a press release. Oakland has seen a 43% increase in strong armed robberies within the last year, according to stats from November 2023, the city's violent crime reached its highest number since the crime wave of the 90s. And again, this is why we need another crime bill, right? This is why we need another crime bill, okay? This is why we need mass incarceration. Again, people think that it's controversial to say that, but it's not, okay? People have fear-mongered uh, normal people into believing that common sense, tough-on-crime policies are somehow immoral and dangerous and wrong no it's not wrong right it is not wrong to lock up people who commit crimes right people talk about the u.s having the highest incarceration rates in the world well guess what we also have <laughs> the best economy in the world right we got the largest economy in the world i think that there's a correlation okay if you have a country that's generally safe to do business where businesses can operate where you lock up criminals yeah you're gonna tend to have a good economy right that creates a environment where businesses can thrive and that allows you to become one of the uh best economies in the world it's really that simple because you know in the ideal world you don't have to do that in the ideal world you do not have to police so heavily in the ideal world you do not have to levy punishments you know this harsh right we're talking about locking people up you know for five ten years for these types of crimes in the ideal world you don't have to do that but in the society that we currently have these criminals only respond to force, right? They respond to power. They respond to ruthlessness, okay? And if you're not ruthless with the criminals, then the criminals are going to continue to commit these crimes. It's really that simple. You have to rule with an iron fist when it comes to these criminals. You can't play games with these people. You can't because they're not going to play games with you, <laughs> okay? So, you know, I, I personally believe that um you know we we have to we have to do something this is out of control and again it's so prevalent in oakland that it happened to some random conservative commentator <laughs> who just pulled up to oakland for one day just to film a, a closed in and out burger and literally got robbed on the spot insane let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace